Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the world of tennis to bring you 10 fascinating facts about the Belarusian professional tennis player, Irina Sabalenka. If you're a tennis enthusiast, or just love learning about inspiring athletes, this video is for you. So, let's get started. Fact 1. Irina Sabalenka has a unique connection with the animal kingdom. She has two tiger tattoos, which she says symbolize her fierce playing style on the court. She revealed that the tiger tattoo is a reflection of her aggressive stance while playing tennis. Looking at it, she gets motivated to continue her game till the end. This was her first tattoo. Sabalenka said, Sometimes I need to remind myself that I'm a tigress and I need to fight till the end. I put it on my arm to make sure I can see it every time and be on fire. According to some sources, it is alleged that Irina Sabalenka has a second tiger tattoo on her thigh. But the provided pictures can show that it is actually Alina Svitolina's tiger tattoo on her left thigh. Sabalenka said, Sometimes on the court, it reminds me that you need to fight for every point. Fact 2. Irina Sabalenka was relatively unknown until 2017. Despite being ranked outside the top 75 at the time, she led the Belarus Fed Cup team to a runner-up finish with Aleksandr Sasnovich. This achievement put her on the map and she finished ranked number 2018 and 2019. 11 in the world in singles. In the 2017 Fed Cup final, Sabalenka showed a stunning performance where she overcame US Open champion Sloane Stephens. Fact 3. Irina Sabalenka is known for her aggressive style of play, which is characterized by powerful serves and ground strokes. This style often leads to high numbers of winners, but also unforced errors. Despite the risk, this approach has been a key part of her success. For instance, during the 2021 Madrid Open, Sabalenka stuck to her aggressive style of play and it paid off. She won her first ever title on clay at this tournament, defeating World No. 1 Ashley Barty in the final. She didn't change her game for the clay court. Instead, she stayed aggressive and prepared herself well for the different surface. Another example is the 2024 Australian Open semi-final against Coco Gauff. Despite losing the first point on her serve, Sabalenka bounced back with a plus-one backhand winner. This is a testament to her aggressive style of play and her ability to maintain pressure on her opponents. Sabalenka's aggressive style of play is a defining aspect of her game and has helped her to achieve high rankings and win numerous titles. Fact 4. Irina Sabalenka is known for her distinctive on-court grunting which has been compared to the likes of Monica Seles and Maria Sharapova. While some have criticized it, Sabalenka has stated that it helps her to focus and put power into her shots. This grunting has been a point of debate in the tennis world. During the 2024 Australian Open, Coco Gauff defended Sabalenka and her grunt after losing to her, stating that many tennis players grunt during play. Goff insisted she doesn't mind Sabalenka's grunting and was not distracted by it. In another instance, during the Brisbane International in 2024, Sabalenka's grunting was described as violent screaming. The Women's Tennis Association has stated that grunting is a natural part of the game and there is a correlation between a forceful exhale and power. They also mentioned that excessive grunting doesn't seem to be an issue that affects players. Fact 5. Irina Sabalenka leads a sport-loving life alongside her professional tennis career. She is in a relationship with Konstantin Koltsov, who is a professional ice hockey player. Their relationship started in 2021. Koltsov participated in two Olympic tournaments and played for the Pittsburgh Penguins in the National Hockey League. Koltsov appears to have three children from a previous relationship. Before Sabalenka was linked to her current partner Koltsov, she was engaged to someone else. She did not publicly reveal who she was engaged to, keeping her fiancé's identity private. Fact 6. Irina Sabalenka's journey into the world of tennis began at a very young age. At just six years old, she picked up a tennis racket and started playing the sport. 
this early start laid the foundation for her future success. It's quite remarkable to think that a child's interest in a sport could lead to such an illustrative career. Today, Sabalenka is a household name in professional tennis, but it all started when she was a six-year-old girl at Minsk, Belarus. From practicing in local courts in Minsk to winning Grand Slam titles, Sabalenka's journey is a testament to her HR work, determination, and love for the sport. Fact 7. Indeed, Irina Sabalenka's serve is one of the most powerful in women's tennis. Her serve speed has been recorded to reach up to 194 km per hour, is equivalent to about 120.5 miles per hour. This places her among the fastest servers in the history of women's tennis. Sabalenka's powerful serve is a crucial part of her aggressive playing style. It allows her to put her opponents on the back foot right from the start of a point, and gives her an advantage in her service games. Her serve is not just about power, though. Sabalenka has worked hard to develop accuracy and consistency in her serve as well. This combination of power and precision makes her serve a formidable weapon. Fact 8. Irina Sabalenka has a special connection with China, earning her the nickname Daughter of China. This nickname was given due to her remarkable success in the country early in her career. Sabalenka won her maiden WTA 1000 event at the Wuhan Open in 2018. The following year, she defended her Wuhan Open title and also won the 2019 Shenzhen Open and the WTA Elite Trophy. These victories significantly boosted her career and established her as a force to be reckoned with in women's tennis. Interestingly, Sabalenka attributes her success in China to her love for fried rice. She joked in an interview, I guess I really like fried rice and that's why I'm doing well here. It's only about this perfect fried rice. Fact 9. Irina Sabalenka loves pancakes, dogs, and reading. Her favorite book is The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexander Dumas. The Count of Monte Cristo is an adventure novel written by French author Alexandre Dumas. Completed in 1844, it is one of the author's most popular works, alongside The Three Musketeers. The story takes place in France, Italy, and Mediterranean islands during the historical events of 1815-1839. The book revolves around the story of a man who was unjustly imprisoned, then escaped to seek revenge. Fact 10. In a previous interview in 2023, Irina Sabalenka shared her preferences when it comes to drinking. She said, It depends on the mood. If I'm not in a good mood, I'll just go for a shot. If I'm in a good mood and just want to enjoy my night, I'll go for a margarita. And in response to the observation that tequila can be like her game high risk, high reward, and potentially bringing out a certain manic spirit, Irina Sabalenka shared in an interview with Vogue.com, I'm pretty good at controlling myself. I'm stopping myself after a couple of shots, but I do like tequila, especially a good one. And that brings us to the end of today's video on the 10 amazing facts about the life of tennis player Irina Sabalenka. We hope you enjoyed the video and learned new aspects of this remarkable player's life. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.